Hi, my name is Carrie Darcy and I'm the teen librarian at the Thomas Crane Public Library. Today, I'm going to walk you through how to use one of our databases. This database is available to you through your school's website. So we're gonna start off on the Quincy High School's library catalog page. Um, from there, if you go to the database section and then click on Gale Databases, and the database we're looking for today is Gale in Context. So if you just click on that, and this is what you should see. So the great thing about our Gale databases is they all look very similar to each other with a basic keyword search feature here in the middle of the page, along with some browse topics, title list, search history highlights. Um, you can also change the language feature here up the top. It has a number of different languages for that you can choose from to change the page into. So we are just going to go ahead and do a basic search on colonialism. I just want to show you, so up at the top, you'll see that it has all of the different types of articles and links that are included. You have everything from reference materials to academic journals. It has audio, it's got magazines, news articles, critical essays. So you can start by narrowing your search up here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on academic journals. One of the things that I wanna point out that's super important when you're doing your search is you always wanna make sure that you check this full text documents one of the most frustrating things is to find an article by title that you think is really going to be useful to you. And then when you click on it, you find out it's only a citation and you can't access the actual article. So by clicking on the full text documents, you're going to eliminate all of those citations and you're only going to pull up items that will actually have the articles attached to it. I also encourage you to check off this peer review journals if you're in the article section, which we are. So we're going to limit that. And that just helps to make sure that all of the search results that you get back are have all been vetted and approved by professionals in that subject. And those features are available in any of our Gale databases. So we're just going to pick any article here. And I want to point out that when you go into the article, you have a number of features. You have the translate feature here. You can increase or decrease your font size. You can listen to the article, which is great, especially for our ELA students. Um, you can upload the article directly to your drive or your OneCloud. You can email it or download it. And then up at the top, you have the option of printing it off, downloading an email here as well. But it also has this really helpful citation tool. And what this does is it generates the citation for you. You have the option for MLA, APA, and Chicago, and you just select your citation. It'll update the citation in the box, and then you can export it to any of these secondary sites um, that would be useful to you. Okay. So going back to our search, you can also filter your results, whatever you um, get on your list here. You have the option to filter by document type, publication date, um, subject, as well as the Lexile measure, the content le level, and you can also search within your search results. So moving on from here, I do want to point out this one really helpful tool. It's called the Topic Finder. So the Topic Finder works a lot like word clouds. We're going to go ahead and we're going to repeat the search and we're going to show you what the topic finder looks like. So it uses these tiles or you can change it to wheels and it's going to build this world cloud for you. And this is really great if you're struggling to kind of narrow your search keyword terms to find the best results for you. It will go ahead. You can narrow it down that way um, and then it pulls up the results over here on the side. So this is a really helpful tool for you to use especially if, like I said, you're struggling to find what keyword terms work best for you. So this is our Gale in Context for High School Edition. If you have any questions, you can contact your high school live media specialist, or you can contact us at the Thomas Crane Public Library. Thanks so much. See you soon.